Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. So today's video, we're going to be doing a recent favourite. These are my favourite videos to film. I love talking about things I love. I've got loads of great things to talk about, so let's get straight into it. I've got some makeup, jewellery, books, skincare, perfume, all the good things. Along with makeup, I've got a few new things to talk about. I don't think any of these will be a massive surprise if you've seen some of my recent videos. I love what I love. What can I say? First up, we've got the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 35 Hour Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I have been in love with this. I've got this on today. I've been reaching for this pretty much every single day. I don't have a foundation at the moment that I'm loving as much as this. Coverage is really nice. It gives a really nice glow to your skin. I think that's the nicest foundation I've tried in a really long time. I've been using the shade 203 and it's just perfect. Next up, like I said, no surprise, we've got the brand new YSL All Hours Powders. These, these are a brand new launch from YSL. With the All Hours Compact Powder, I've been using the shade 2 just to set all over my face. All Hours Hyper Bronze, I've been using the shade 3. I've got both of these on today. I... I'm a big, big YSL Beauty fan anyway, but I can't believe how much I love these. They basically just make your skin look like velvet. Like, the bronzer is like butter. It blends like an absolute dream. The powders are so beautiful. It also smell really good, which I love. I don't know what they smell of, but it's really, really nice. It smells really fresh. I didn't have a powder bronzer that I was really loving. This has very quickly become that. And then we have got a couple of the new lipsticks from Revolution. I used one of the shades in my last video. These are a satin matte finish. They're perfect for every day. Really long lasting. The color range is beautiful. I think there's 10 shades. I've got a mixture of these two on today. So we've got Chauffeur Nude, which is a slightly deeper, slightly deeper nudie brown. And then a little bit of Lover Nude, which I've been obsessed with. Beautiful peachy nude. It's got all bits of the other lipstick on it but I love that really peachy tone especially for spring I think it's really light and it's really fresh it also looks really good with colour um which I'm trying to wear more of I love the finish of these for the price point as well revolution makeup is always so so good I just think they make a really good everyday lip colour and there's so many colours to choose from as well so I think there would be something for everybody I've had quite a few revolution products I've liked recently as well I really like the brow pencil that I used um yeah they're killing it love them I don't know if this one should go makeup or skincare so I'm going to do it between the two. Um, this is the new launch from Kylie Skin. This is the Lip Butter. It's vanilla caramel flavour. It is gorgeous. I've been reaching for this pretty much every single every morning after I do my skincare, just to let it sink in while I do my base makeup. I've noticed a massive difference in how like my lip products are going on, how they're sitting. Nothing is like cracking. My lips were really hydrated. It's got shea butter in it, so it's really intensely moisturising. Smells and tastes so amazing. I love the packaging as well. I think that colour is so nice. Next up, I've got a very gorgeous brand that I'm very excited to talk about. My beautiful friend, Lewis Holmes, who is an amazing tattoo artist, has finally, I say finally because I used the initial samples of these over a year ago, he has finally launched his tattoo aftercare brand, Co. First of all, packaging, stunning, stunning. The packaging is so beautiful. I love the look of these so much. The tattoo aftercare cream. So this is one of those products, although it is designed as a tattoo balm technically, you can use it for other things. You know I love my all-round balm products. I have so many products that I use for like multiple different things. A really lightweight, unscented, so really gentle on the skin. I've been using it on like my elbows and my hand tattoos, especially through winter. I feel like my skin is just like dying for moisture. B5, vitamin E to help retain moisture and protect the skin barrier. So I might actually try it on my face. I'll let you know how that goes. That is the cream. Then we have got the Tattoo Aftercare Wash. I haven't actually opened this one yet. I used the sample. So this is a much more aesthetic version than the one that I used. The one I used was in like an unmarked white tube. And I was like, Lewis, please, what, what is this? I did use the combination of these two actually to heal a couple of my tattoos last year. I think I used these to heal around my knee and my thigh. Not easy places to heal, especially around the knee. They also have quite a lot of black in them and they healed perfectly. I've got chamomile and organic oat extract. Anything with oat in is so gentle on the skin, really good for holding moisture in. Again, this would work just as a really nice hydrating body wash. So the combination of these two, whether you're into your tattoos or you're not, I love the look of them. I feel like for a tattoo brand, the aesthetic is so different. It's so new and I just love it. Well done, Lewis. You star. A couple of skincare products to talk about here. First up, we've got the Ola Henriksen Double Rewind Pro Grade 0.3% Retinol Serum. Ooh, that was a mouthful. I have officially begun my retinol journey. I'm 25 this year. I feel like it's time. I've kind of like dabbled in and out of it, but I've never found one that I feel like really works for my skin. I got this as part of a Cult Beauty Valentine's packet. And they very kindly sent me some bits to try. And I've been using this for maybe two weeks so far. And my skin seems to be really liking it. I haven't had any skin purging going on. I know sometimes with retinol, it can take a while for your skin to get used to it. This is only 0.3, so it's quite a gentle one. Maybe that's why. I don't know if it's like placebo, but I do feel like already my skin is looking a little bit nicer. It was way less textured. I already feel like my makeup is sitting nicer on top of it. Um, and I feel like it could only really be this. So yeah, very excited to see how I get on with it. I imagine they do a higher volume one, which I might have to 
trained onto at some point but yeah so far very impressed hopefully i'm gonna look 25 forever and last bit for skincare this is actually not a new product but it's one that i just constantly come back to this is the tartra dewy skin cream Probably my third or fourth tub of this i absolutely love it to bits annoyingly my skin absolutely adores it because it is not the cheapest it's one of those things i really do notice a massive difference when i use this compared to using something else this has got antioxidant rich japanese purple rice which i'm not entirely sure what that does but it feels like it's doing something my skin definitely does feel a little bit juicier when i use this i've been using the combination of these two every night and then one night a week doing like an oil or a mask just for a bit more intense moisture it's lightweight but it still feels really moisturizing still feels like it's doing something to your skin my skin seems to just like drink it up i don't wake up in the morning and feel like it's still kind of sitting on my skin it really does feel like it's doing something Tartre, one of my favorite skincare brands ever i've never used a product from them that i don't like but this for me is the is the one okay i think that is it for like beauty bit next up i've got some jewelry to talk about jewelry is my favorite thing in the entire world I get so excited talking about it i'm very excited to be working on this bit of the video with my jewelry who are a brand i absolutely adore first of all i love the way that their packaging arrives like the little dust bag and you get a box little tiny bag everything is like individually I've got a pair in here that i don't actually have in today because i didn't have room i run out of space these are so beautiful these are just the perfect everyday simple hoop I wear hoops every single day of my life. It's like a day ruiner for me if I realise I haven't put my earrings in. These are the perfect everyday little gold hoop. They're a really, really nice size. I also love that they just clip in like that. Really easy to get in and out. Really comfortable. Very lightweight as well. I'm not going to drag your ears down. And then I've also got this gorgeous stack here all built up from Majuri. A couple of these are new styles. We've got these gorgeous textured rectangular hoops. I think they're so gorgeous. They don't have anything like that. And I think they're a really cool like way to elevate everyday earrings. So I've got a new simple rectangle. Again, just makes a really nice little change from a standard hoop. And then these are just so stunning. I love a really chunky gold hoop. So I've got a slightly bigger size and then a nice little snug one on the top of my ear. I love mixing textures and shapes and sizes. I feel like that's how you get that really cool curated ear look. These are just so amazing. I don't think I've ever seen hoops like this. And then same kind of stack on the other side. We've got the chunky hoop and then the two little rectangles. I love how these two look together where they're like the same shape but different sizes and textures. When I have my hair slicked back I always feel like a statement ear just is the perfect finishing touch. Majuri have the most perfect range of jewellery. They've got your really classic everyday like the simple hoops all the way up to your more elevated classics like these. We've got different textures, gold, silver. You can mix them together, you can wear them on their own. I need to like screenshot this or take a picture of my ear right now so I remember where I put everything. I always forget what order I put them all in. Like that stack just looks perfect. We've got a bit of everything. I feel like it graduates perfectly, like the shapes look so good together. I just love that so much. Something about the gold with the yellow as well. I'm feeling really like springy today. It literally will not stop raining, but we're trying. So those are my little jewellery favourites that I wanted to talk about. Massive thank you to Majuri for working with me on this part of the video. I absolutely adore you. Just, I know I keep saying it, but I can't get enough of this. It just looks so good. I also love the dust bags that everything comes in. These are so good for travelling. I always collect these. They're really good for like just putting little bits in. But yeah, I love the entire experience of Majuri. I love how everything feels. I love how it arrives. The quality of the jewellery. Just start to finish. I just think it's perfect. Okay, we have got a couple of books to talk about, a couple of fragrances, and then I think I'm done. I've got three books here to talk about that I've recently read and absolutely loved. But I'm going to go through these in order that I read them. So first up, we have got Atalanta by Jennifer Sane. I was reading this in my mind saying Atlanta the entire time, and then I think about halfway through, I was like, oh, it's Atalanta, which never feels like you're saying it right. I don't even know if I am saying it right. But Jennifer Sane is one of my favourite writers ever. I've read all of her books now. She's got a new one coming out this year as well and I am so excited to read it. So she does Greek mythology retellings, all female-led stories. There's only a couple of books that have really ever made me cry and Electra by her was one of them. I was absolutely bawling my eyes out. I'm really into Greek mythology. Like the last few years I've got really into it. So most of the time they're stories that I kind of already know or I'm aware of or they kind of link back to things. But the way that she writes them it's almost like you've just never heard them before. The way that she writes the characters, she makes them like so, so emotional and so like real. I actually think the Greek mythology books were what got me out of my like reading rut. So if you are at a point where you don't really know what to read, I think any of hers would be an amazing place to start then. She doesn't overcomplicate them, they're just really beautiful stories. Next up, a bit of a cult one that I just for some reason have never got around to reading. But this is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. My boyfriend actually bought this because he, he loves like a self-development book. And he was like, I want to try and get into fiction. He didn't get to read it because I stole it. I understand why everybody loves this book so much. It is definitely one of those that every single person should read. I feel like there's so much to be gained from it. A lot of Sylvia Plath Bell Jar references in there, which is one of my favourite books ever. It's kind of a book based around the whole kind of like fig tree theory that you can't be everybody. Alternate versions of your life. And if you don't pick one, 
then you'll have none kind of thing. I always obsess over little details and think, what if I'd done that? What if I'd done that? And actually at the end of the day, you can't do all of it. So I found this a really peaceful book to read. The writing style is really nice. This is the first book of his I've read. Um, I think I probably will read the others now because I really like the way he wrote. Quite a quick, easy read as well. A lot of the chapters are really short. You've got some that are literally just one page. This is the book that I'm currently reading. I haven't finished it yet. I'm about halfway through. This is Killers of the Flower Moon by David Gray. Of course, this has just been made into a film with Leonardo DiCaprio and Lily Gladstone. I think it is. she is just so beautiful. She's one of those people I just can't stop staring at her face. And then I saw this in Waterstones. I was looking for a new book to read and I thought I would rather read it than watch the film. I go and watch the film, partly because it's three and a half hours long and I just don't know if I can stay awake for that long. You know when you read a story, this is a true story by the way, you know when you read something and you're like, how doesn't everybody in the world know about this? Like, how did this happen? And I've never heard of it. Um, it's only the 1920s as well, so like 100 years ago. I can't believe that we don't get taught about this, this stuff. It's about the birth of the FBI, oil, money, murders, all that stuff, but also really heartbreaking because it's a true story and there's so much about the family. There's also pictures the whole way through, which I really like. They don't make enough books of pictures, you know? That's something. I like being able to relate it back, and I feel like it makes you really understand the characters. I'm absolutely loving that. I'm really, really excited to finish this. So they are my three books that I have recently been loving. I find it really hard at the moment to find books that aren't hardback. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is the hardback thing, that they don't come out paperback for about 10 months. It's driving me insane. I can't be carrying this massive thing around with me. And I will go to Parliament. Last but not least, we have got two fragrances to talk about. So we've got the new one from YSL. This is Black Opium Over Red. I love the bottle. It's really cool how it catches that red in certain light. So this is very cherry based. Mm, almost like a, I don't wanna say sour, but it's almost like a sweet, sour cherry smell to it. I absolutely love it. YSL fragrances are up there with my favorite. Like Lieb is one of my favorite smells ever. YSL are just sensational at making fragrances. I'm not a massive fan of the original Black Opium. I like it, but I'm indifferent about it. But this one for me really stands out. And then we have got the new one from Killian Paris, Born to be Unforgettable. Almost similar in some ways to this one. Very into these kind of scents at the moment. This one smells like cola bottles and then also sexy men. Sexy men and cola bottles. Oh my god, I love that. I'm actually quite new into like the Killian fragrance family. I absolutely love them. They are the most unique fragrances ever. I've got quite a few actually. I've been very spoiled by them. So I've also got these three. These bottles for me are just so special. Like I kind of wish that they just made all the bottles like that because I feel like that compared to that is just not, it's not that, you know. Angel Shirt, one of my absolute favourites. I'm just doing fragrance store now. Blue Moon. So they are all technically unisex. I feel like some kind of sway one way or the other. This one for me is very fresh boy-y. I think I like rich boy. -y. Yes, we all like a rich boy, -y, don't we? It's incredible. Fever, Fever Verte green something. A unique smell. It's actually based off absinthe and it does kind of smell like absinthe. Such a like specific sort of smell. I can't even imagine what kind of person I would attach this scent to. It's one of those, I think it kind of grows on you throughout the day when you first smell it. You're a bit like, what is that? It's very fresh though. They're always very fresh to Killian fragrances. I've also actually been wearing this one quite a bit. This is the new Hugo Boss, the scent. This is the Elixir. I've been loving this one as well every day. I feel like I do swap my fragrances around every day now. I used to have like one that I was like, this is my scent. This is what I'm gonna wear all the time. I used to wear Mason Margiela replica, beach walk constantly. I was like, this is my smell. I want this to smell like me. And now I feel like I have so many nice ones. That I don't wanna just, I don't wanna just stick to one. I wanna just wear different fragrance every day. So that's kind of what I do now. Oh, it's really raining. My yellow shirt did not work. They are all the recent things that I've been absolutely loving. As always, all the products will be linked in the description box down below. I have also got a code for you to use on Majuri, so that will be left down there as well. Massive thank you to Majuri again for working with me on this video. Have a beautiful day and I will see you all very soon. Love you.